So I would just announce the brand new P30 Pro and boy, it comes with a ton of features. So we're gonna actually see how it compares with the reigning king, the Galaxy S10 Plus. Whoo, this is gonna be a fun video. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, let's kick things off with the P30 Pro, the new guy in the market here. P30 Pro comes with five different colors. There is an amber sunrise. There's also a brand new breathing crystal. Looks really nice. But starting off in the front of this device, it's got a 6.47 inch OLED display. Looks really nice. It spots a 32 megapixel front facing camera dimple notch, so that's also pretty pretty nice as well. But we have to see how that camera handles in taking photos, especially of me. We took some photos of Michael Josh. He was our model for this video. Now, it does have an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's an optical in-display fingerprint sensor from Huawei, and it looks like it's faster. So we'll compare that with the Galaxy in a separate video. Now, flipping to the back, that's the main area you care about. It's four cameras now, not three, four. One of them is a TOF sensor for more depth a mapping solution, of course, giving you better bokeh, your recording, all that fun stuff. There are three new sensors at the rear. We've got a brand new 40 megapixel super spectrum sensor. This is the main sensor. Uh, this actually is an RYYB sensor. So it's not RGB, which YY is for yellow, giving you more colors and better low light photography and low light video. So again, stay tuned. We'll be racking up some videos for you that you have to check out on this device. Now, the next sensor is a 20 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Why we bring the ultra wide back. And the last one is that eight megapixel uh, um, periscopic sensor, basically giving you 5X optical, 10X hybrid, and 50X zoom at max. 50, I know that's nuts, right? But we'll show you some more details on that. Now, this is combined with the brand new AI algorithm in there to give you AIS and OIS for video recording, so better video stabilization, and also a new Super HDR Plus, giving you better HDR photography, more dynamic range. Wow, he's packing a lot of stuff here, plus there's a super macro mode as well. Now, this houses the uh, Kirin 980 processor, giving you a dual MPU action to use all that AI calculations for your photos. And there is also the brand new um, GPU Turbo. So we check out some gaming, we'll do a dedicated gaming video for you guys who care about that good stuff. Now, it does house a 4200 milliamp battery, which takes roughly about 30 minutes to get it 70% with that 40 watt charger. It is super fast and I can tell you right now it's faster than what Samsung has. So that's just pretty clear, we know that. But it does have a 15 watt, watt wireless charger and it does have reverse wireless charging. So we've gotta see how those stack up. The USB uh, Type-C port, uh, there is no headphone jack but you can use USB Type-C headphones and there is a 32 bit audio DAC built into those as well. Now, it does support the nano SD card, so there's no standard SD card. Your storage options are for eight, uh, sorry, uh, eight gigs of RAM with 128 all the way to 256. So that's nice, that's nice. This ca the camera though is something we gotta get to in a second. But before that, the Galaxy S10 Plus, 6.4 inches, we know that, dynamic AMOLED display, HDR10+, Plus, something that Huawei does not have on that display. In-display fingerprint sensor, which is the uh, ultrasonic sensor, we've seen how that works. With the Mate 20, we'll do a separate video, the kernel might show up again to see how it stacks up uh, with this. Now, we do have, of course, the Snapdragon 855 processor, at least the one I have in terms of processing. We have up to 12 gigs of RAM. Yes, more than what Huawei is offering and up to a terabyte of storage plus a standard micro SD card slot. So again, some benefits to just some pure hardware. Now the back is three cameras. So you're looking at an ultra wide camera with a really super wide uh, berth. You've also got a, um, a standard camera lens, 12 megapixel, and we have of course telephoto at 12. Now in terms of modes, Samsung has super steady for video. I mean, that's crazy. You've seen the videos, it, they don't, it doesn't shake. And then you've got the Instagram mode where you can post directly from Instagram from your device. There is no dedicated night mode on the Galaxy. There is a night mode 
on the P30 Pro. Now the Galaxy also has reverse wireless charging. They both have IP68 rating, so you have that there. But let's get down to some of them photos. And let's start off with the, you know, the one we care about first, low light photography. We set up a low light scene, as you can see from the screen, uh, basically we recorded the screen off the P30. It is dark, it is super dark, and looking at the images from left to right, Far left is the P30 Pro Auto, in the center is the P30 Pro Night Mode, and the far right is the Galaxy S10 Plus in, of course, its standard mode. There is no dedicated night mode. And you can clearly see that even though it was dark, the P30 Pro was able to give you all the details quite clearly. Yes, you can see the images on the Galaxy S10 Plus, but the P30 Pro, I mean, it's nuts. That is absolutely insane how detailed and so clear it actually came out. Can't wait to try that and show you more, but I am thoroughly impressed. Now, moving over to the periscopic zoom. Now, we couldn't compare those there, but here's a shot here with the wide angle lens, or sorry, a shot with the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus, and it looks good. It looks good. Same with the P30 as well. Uh, now, P30 Pro. Now, if we do the periscopic zoom, we can see we moved in closer to the building at 5x still details retain. Moving at 10x, details retain. And then there's a push to 50 where you can see some detail, but not much. Now looking at that same uh, um, area and looking down, we zoom in 5x with the P30 Pro. You can see the taxi. Again, details still retain. Another uh, 10x zoom and again, more detail is still retained at that. So that is actually nuts. The Galaxy doesn't have anything that can do that. There's just no way to actually compare that two together, but I had to show you. Now, looking at uh, the uh, taking photos with our model, Michael Josh, wanna thank him for actually posing for us here. You can clearly see with both photos side by side, of course, the Huawei P30 on the left, the Galaxies on the right. The P30 Pro, sorry, P30 Pro has uh, more, I could say more contrasting to the photo and a, a very, very deep blur, of course, with the background. While the Galaxy has a blur gradient on the background, and less of that contrasty feel. I do like both. I would like to take more photos to get a better opinion, but just a quick snapshot gives me to get our hands on these devices and it looked good. Now, moving over to the Super Macro, which is something Galaxy doesn't have. Super Macro looks really good. You get some really nice in-depth shots of certain things. So uh, that looked good. The flower looks good. A lot of detail into that. There's a lot with this device. I gotta just see how they stack up with other things. And we'll check out how both reverse wireless charging stack up. We'll check out how both fast charging stack up because both are at 15 watts. So who is actually faster or better? Uh, we'll also check out low light photography with both devices, spend some time at a bar um, on the street. You know, that was super dark and that's something maybe the uh, the sensor just has a better advantage if it's just pitch black, if you will. But, oh man, there is so much to check out on these devices. Uh, I forgot to mention, it's a 4200 milliamp battery on the P30 Pro and a 4100 milliamp battery on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Whew, man, guys, this is insane. I am happy. This is a great time of the year to check out stuff. Definitely go ahead and like and share this video, guys. And stay tuned for more stuff as we've done in the past. We'll give you more videos on this device, the P30 Pro, as it stacks up to other devices out there. And I know some of you want to see comparisons with the Pixel, so you'll see that as well. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. And once you do hit the notification icon, you're notified with our latest videos. Plus, we've got two giveaways, giving away Galaxy S10e and two Galaxy M20s. Both links for both the giveaways are below. Enter them to end, you know, go ahead, Click on them, enter to win. Anyway, guys, whew, I'm excited, I'm happy. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment.